cracking up. You know, he brought, yeah, he brought all those um, take it out. The diseases take it over out. to America, right? The smallpox, the common cold, uh, right? Yeah. The, the native, the, the Native Americans. Yeah, yeah. Native Americans. Um, the, the pilgrims were giving them. Uh, the the sheep, blankets. Yeah, small boxes. Anthrax. Anthrax. Right. Yeah. Yeah, anthrax. anthrax. Yeah. It's, um, yeah. what do you call it? It's, no, they call it, 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 um, bring it over. a biological warfare. Right? Yeah. That's why, that's why we tell you all this, like the brother just read, the wisdom of this world is foolish, right? right. Scripture? You're supposed to come to the wisdom and understand what the Bible is. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 27 But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. Lucky, read that again, man. That was beautiful. Um, 1 Corinthians 1 verse 27 But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. People come around here and say, get a job, right? It's fucking Saturday, man. You know? It's Saturday. But then again, we're looked at like a spectacle. We're, like, we're looked at as like a public show. People don't come here to learn. They come here to laugh and scoff. But the most, and then, you know, the most I chose the foolish. Because especially, you know, for the brothers, I'm sure they get the same thing. Um, when we were in the world, we used to gang bang, sell drugs. And then it's such a drastical change. These people look at us like, what the fuck? Just yesterday this guy was selling drugs. Now he's preaching the word. But the most I chose the fool. The foolish thing, sloppy. That's what he said? Yeah, to condemn the wise, man. To condemn all those fucking scholars. No. But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. Mm -hmm. And God has chosen the weak things of the world to confound that which is... Confound the things which are mighty. And the only reason why we're weak is because we were not. And the only way we're weak is because we don't have that power that the Most High gave to us back then. And base things of the world, and things which are despised, hath God chosen, yea, the things which are not, to bring to naught things that are, that no flesh should glory in His presence. That's right, and these people come up here, and they say, well, hey, you don't have an audience. We're not here to please men, we're here to please the most high. It's a small multitude, too. A small multitude, small, that's small, water. Small number. But of Him are ye in Christ Jesus who of God is made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And then and then and then you know, through the struggle, that's how you're purified, man. Do catching hell, that's how you're being cleansed. You're not supposed to prosper and then be cleansed at the same time. That doesn't go hand in hand. The word purify the word purify goes back to the word fire. Because that's yeah. the best cleansing agent, right? Fire. Second Peter, this is to answer your question. Second Peter's three and uh, ten. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. That's right. Seeing fervent yeah. heat, elements. Everything is made out of elements. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being of, on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall be melted with fervent heat. Right. And that godly conversation, hoping that this white man goes down tomorrow. That's right. Well, tonight. You know, tonight. Sloppy. Right now. Right now, we speak. You know, always getting into the scriptures, talking about um, this chapter. You know, brothers that are in this truth, we actually, we actually read this Bible, the Bible, and, and read certain scriptures and think it's like yesterday, man. Cause we're we're heavily in the scriptures. All our conversations are about the scriptures. We look at these people. We look at hey, look at this Edomite. We don't say, oh, look at this white man. We look at this Edomite. We go call them by their biblical names. That's right. All right. Cause what's Caucasian? You know, what Caucasian means cave dweller. Yeah, exactly. Well, even the, the white man came up with that. Exactly. They know where he came from. That's right. You know, we're, we're heavy in the scripture. We get tests, we, you know, we get breakdowns. We love this word, but hell comes with it, you know? Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth we're in dwelleth righteousness. That's right, new heavens, new earth. You hear about um, the new plans that are being discovered for uh, people to live on. Really? You ask me? That's all being discovered just for us. Right, right. You know? 
Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. And then stop here, and then it says that the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Because if you knew when the Lord was coming, you would have, you would know, then you would get the time to, to repent and then study and all that stuff and, and become righteous. But if you didn't know, you wouldn't worry about that because you would just get into the scripture and when he comes, he comes to see you doing what you're doing. Right? And the count that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him, had written unto you, as also, as also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things in which some things to be understood, which that they that are unlearned and unstable wrestle, as they do also the other scriptures unto their own destruction. First Corinthians chapter four and nine. I think that the Most High had sent forth us the apostles last as they were moved to death. For we are made a spectacle unto the world, and to angels, and to men. That's right, spectacle, a public show, an entertainment, like I was saying, you know, people walk by, and they just come here just to, just to, really, the most attention we get is when cops are around. Right. Or people like drama, or fight breakout. Break break and that's the out, biggest video, you know? it, man. Exactly, you, know? you check our views, you only see the biggest videos, not only our videos, all the elders, all the brothers. The biggest videos are, are the ones with very drama in The most viewed. Yeah, it's lucky, the most viewed. We're out here every week. Did I have one more skip? Yeah, are you done on that? No, it's more. We are fools for Yahweh's sake, but ye are wise in Yahweh's sake. We are weak, but ye are strong. Ye are honorable, but we are despised. Even unto this very present hour, we both hunger and thirst, and are naked and are buffeted, and have no certain dwelling place. And labor, working with our hands, being reviled, we bless, being persecuted, we suffer it, being defamed, we entreat. Yeah. So people talk shit, you know? Um, we are made as the filth of the world and are the off scorn of all things unto this day. I write not these things to you to shame you, but as my beloved sons I warn you. And that's why we come here and warn you too. When you come into the truth, be careful to delude a lot of shit, bro. Scripture? Yeah. Ecclesiasticus chapter 1, chapter 2, verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, Prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure. And make not haste in the time of trouble. Cleave on to him and depart not away. That thou mayest be increased at the last end. Right, increase. And if you're increased at the last end, that means you're decreasing now. In these times, huh? you're losing a lot of stuff, a lot of status. You know, families, you might even, you might even, um, you know, lose connection with your parents. Because you're into the scriptures, man. Said the man's um, foes will be in his own household, man. You know, my mother, I played a few things for my mother. And uh, she couldn't really disagree. She said there's a lot of things. Women should be preaching. It's a lot of stuff. Right, but you know, we're not saying that when you come to the truth that your parents, that your household won't be saved. It's only few. It all depending on how wicked they are, you know. Alright brothers man. Yeah. Oh, one more scripture, one more scripture. Yes, please. Yes. Yes. Huh. Twelve in um no. Twelve in uh twelve in uh thirteen. Yeah. Ecclesiastes twelve and thirteen. Yeah, because you're talking about uh university, right? Right. You know, to break down better the word. Your, to better yourself um break down in, the in life. To huh? Break down the word to them, university. Oh yeah, university, yeah. But um we were getting into it. How it's demonic, right? Because right. university, it means, it goes back to the word universal, it means one. To turn into one. To turn into one, all in one, one mindset, one, yeah. one, one world government. You know? Yeah, uni. Okay. Uni. So, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. That's right. Let's hear the, 
conclusion of the whole matter. Okay. Fear God. Fear God. And keep His commandments. Keep His commandments. That's the only thing you supposed to do. For this is the whole duty of man. That's right. Of an Israelite, not a, not a heathen. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. One, one last question. Uh, referring to a photographer. When was that taken out? Um, it was in 1775, I believe. Um, when was it? Uh, it was included. It was included in this originally, right? The 1611. It was like the 1800s by the Bible Destruction Group. You can look it up. You know? It was the Catholics that took it. Exactly. The Jesuits. You know the Jesuits? The Jesuit priests. You can look it up. You can Wikipedia. It. It's basically the Jesuit priests, which are like the um, the military force of the Catholic Church. All right? Because it takes about. I believe 32 years to become a Jesuit because you got to study all types of languages, how to kill people, poisons, martial arts, all type of stuff. You know, you're a top killer, man. It's a big, you know, it's a real deal. You know, it's a big deal. All right, man. I'm going to keep on. All right, Shalom. 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 Yeah, come on. You want to come? Okay. Ecclesiastes. Right. Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. So the Most High is looking for men that are young. And if you pan around, you see brothers that are very young. That's right. I myself, I'm 18 years old. Man. You have brothers that are 8 years old, 6 years old. Yeah, Alright, we done. Well, the evil days come not. Right, the evil days is the martial law, the race riots. Right? You're seeing it happen right now in Greece. Greece is a war zone. All right, read on. Nor the years draw nigh right. when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Right. So you want to, in your youth, you want to, oh, I want to do this. I want to do drugs, get high, go to school. And then when I'm 50 years old and, and broken down and ready, I'll, I'll come to the Lord. That's what, that's what a lot of these people in the churches do, man. But most is not looking for old people. All right? Most I will graft in uh, men of age, but he's looking for young men. Because guess what? 70, 80 year old men, they can't stand out here for five hours, man. All right, we done. Well, the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return from the rain. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow down themselves and the grinders cease because they are few and those that look out of the windows be darkened. Right, that means the workforce of this place because uh, there's going to be a uh, famine in here because how do you get your food? You don't grow your food. You get your food from your Walmart, from your Sobeys, from your price shoppers. And how does the food come in there? By the trucks. If the trucks went on a strike or there was no trucks at all, your uh, supermarket would hold up to two days of food and then it would be empty. Then what would you do? All right, we done. And the doors shall be shut in the streets right. when the sound of the grinding is low. Right. And he shall raise up at the voice of the bird. And all the daughters of the music shall be brought low. So today music is bullshit, man. There's a fucking new song with Lil Wayne. And he had a track from, you know that song, What Is Love? By that guy, the Benjamin guy. What is love? You know that song? What is yeah, love? Yeah, 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 yeah. He was playing that shit, man. He was playing that shit. So what is that talking? There's no creativity right now. There's no new things coming up. Also, yeah. also, when they shall be afraid of that which is high, and fear shall be in the way, and the almond tree shall flourish, and the grasshopper shall be a burden, and desire shall fall, because men go to his long home and the mourners go about the streets or every the silver cord be loosed or the golden bowl be broken or the pitcher be broken at the fountain or the wheel be broken at the citron. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was. Meaning that our bodies are our dust. When you die, what happens to your body? It starts to decompose. We done. And the spirit shall return unto God. No, it's gonna go to hell. Return unto God. No, it's gonna go to Apollyon. Unto God. So your spirit goes up, it doesn't go down. Who give it it? So that that, that cuts that bullshit about hell. There, there is no hell. All right. Tell your honey. Tell your hoodie. Dominica left. Yes, a cousin. Shoot. Don't be bunch of time. Yes, another Jew. Give me revelation to him.
Oh, she doesn't understand Yiddish. All right. Yes, it was. That is Hebrew. You speak Yiddish, bro? So why are you wearing a, a Hebrew? Uh, I am a Jew. You're a Jew. You said you're not. What makes you a Jew? From the Israelites. <laughs> so you're you're Hilarious. one of the biblical people that went into Egypt. You came from Egypt. I came from came out of Egypt. Went into Egypt. Are you arguing that white people are Jews? No, that's not what we're arguing. That's not what we're arguing. Hold up, bro. Hold on, man. That's not what we're arguing. We're, arguing. we're not arguing. The fact of whether the people that are right now are calling themselves, like the ones who are calling themselves Israelis or Israelites, well, they never really say Israelites, but they say Israelis if they're the actual biblical Jews. And if you can be converted to Judaism. Your word, not mine, but... <laughs> you know, okay, you're saying you're is you're an Israeli. What makes you an Israeli? I'm Israeli. He's Israeli. Okay, so you're saying you're a Jew. What makes you a Jew? What makes you a Jew? My mother's a Jew. Everyone else in my family is a Jew. Everybody else in your family is a Jew. Your mother's a Jew. What does make people a By the seed. By the seed. Get the scriptures. By the father. Yeah, by the father. Not by the seed. What makes him a Jew? What makes him a Jew? He's what? He's a high priest. Oh, he's Levi. How does that? What does make him Levi? How does he know he's Levi? You don't know. Well, we'll show you how. We so I was just saying, it's the father who makes the Jews. That's right. And well, we're trying to say that people going around today call themselves yeah. Jews and really not the real Jews. They're converts from the 700. What do you yeah. mean converts? Converted to Judaism. Who converted to Judaism? Huh? <laughs> you, you can't who, who converted to Judaism? You're right, that you can't convert. But you ever heard of a guy named Arthur Kostler? What? You ever heard of a guy named Arthur Kostler? Yeah. Okay, well, he wrote 13 tribes, right? Saying that if there was, uh, if you guys were going to be uh, Jews, the Khazars were going to be Jews, there would have to be a 13th tribe. So there are no Jews? No, no, those guys are not Jews. They're Khazarians. Ah, and they're not even yeah. really Khazarians, they're really actually so Edomites. You said all the Ashkenaz you know, Jews, Jews are not Jews. You know, no, they're Jacob? not Jews. All the Ashkenaz. Yeah, all the, the Ashkenaz. The Sephardic are Jews? Not all of them. Why not? Not all of them. But they're not Khazarians. Yes, they are because yeah, Sephardic basically means you dwelt in Spain. Spain. All right, that's what that means. And some of the real Jews dwelt in Spain. So if you come from Yemen, you're Jew or not? Say that again. If Yemen. you come from Yemen, no, no, Jew? no, Yemenite Jews. Yemenite no. Jews, not? No. So other people there are, in Israel there are some are not that are there. No, if, you, if you come from little, Ethiopia, little, are you Jew or not? From where? Ethiopia? The Phalashians? Are so, they Hebrews? So who are the true Jews? The true Jews. The true Jews. The ones on the side right there, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. They're right here in front of you. They're across here, they're everywhere. They're in their ghettos, that you put them in. All the black Americans are Jews. Black Americans, Native Americans, Seminole Indians, Latinos, uh, Puerto Ricans. Those are the children of Israel. All the Latinos are Jews? All the Latinos are Jews? The Latinos are words of Jesus telling you that they're Jews. What's, yeah. what's wrong with uh, that's against Jesus? That's against yeah. Jesus. No, it's not. That makes you not Judaism, number one, that's a religion. religion. God never yeah. gave us religion. You don't have to do all the other stuff. Get, get, uh, where, where were you guys when uh, supposedly Jesus came? Where, where were you guys dwelling? I was not born. Okay, I'm talking about your people. Don't get smart. So why did they, why did they, they don't want to... They weren't there. They weren't even in the land. Okay, wait a second. They're in Khazaria. Jewish, we showed you. Jewish Talks people used to live in Israel, right? right. Jewish. Right. Okay. We'll and they Jews. want to come back to Israel. Why the Latin people have no connection Just to Israel? Israel. They don't want to come back to Israel. Run the curses. Run the curses. Do you read the Torah? Yeah. Do you know the book of Deuteronomy? The book? Deuteronomy. That's the last. That's the last book. You have Genesis, ah, yes. Leviticus, so Numbers, Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever read the twentieth chapter? Because, let's get it, let's get it. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. No, you should start at like 15 first, 15 and 68. Because, let's get it, let's get it. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. No, you should start at like 15 first, 15 and 68. You want to write 15? Yeah, 28, no, Deuteronomy 28 verse 15. What is this? Don't worry, but let's do it. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. Deuteronomy 15, 28 and 15. But it shall come 
to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee cursed shall thou be in the city and cursed shall thou be in the field. Cursed shall You don't have to read all of them. Okay. But basically starting from Deuteronomy 15 chapter, going all the way to 68, is the curses that will befall the people who are the real Israelites. Okay, okay now Deuteronomy 28 and 37. One of the curses. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, a byword. A byword. So it's not nigger, a byword? It's not spick, a byword. It's not Indian, a byword. An astonishment. You know what an astonishment is? People being awed at you, being surprised. When the Negroes were here, they had, um, they painted cartoons of them. The woman should be in my bed No, they didn't. Oh, I can show you tons okay, of things. We, uh, we can tell you all about that too. What about Kate? That one? Okay, so after after you're saying all the people in Israel are not really Jews, right. and all the yes, call it, yeah, and there is other two Jews, what next? What now? What? Destruction of Israel. There's going to be World War III. Ezekiel 35, 36 and 1. Why, why should you destroy Israel? Because when America goes in Iran, right, which they are, they're going to go soon, all right? Who gets involved? Name some countries. You know any countries that's going to get involved? Six or five. Yes, they will. I'm from Detroit. Okay, well, does that make you? Does that make you a top top uh, CIA agent just because you're from Detroit? Do you know something? Okay, so from Detroit, I want to hear from Detroit. So they, they're going to. She's, she's interrupting. She knows something, but you don't know something. Okay, just because so you're from Detroit six, doesn't doesn't. Six and five. The Bible tells you that America will go into Iran. Get his information. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, okay, but I want you to continue. You're going to Iran, then. and then all the all the true Jews will come to Israel. That's right. Because let me tell you something. So what you said, you say I want to go to Israel, but I can't because they don't recognize me as a Jew. That's the protest. And how did you no, get that? We, we can't go to Israel first of all because because you're not the Jew. Lord, they won't let you go. No, the Lord has to bring us back into Israel. We're supposed to stay out of Israel. Ezekiel 38 verse 1, and the Lord, and the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man. Set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Mishim, and Tuba, and prophesy against him. Or Magog is Russia. Saying, Thus said the Lord God, Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of the Misha and Tuba. And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. What that means is America, uh, Russia, God is going to put the spirit back for them to go communist. And who is Russia's main ally? China. Because they're communists. And I will take thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. And I will bring thee forth and all thy armies, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields. Now let's read who that company is. All of them handling swords. Persia. Persia. Who's Persia? Modern day Persia. Who's Persian? Iran, Ethiopia, Ethiopia, and Libya, Libya, which is North Africa. With them, all of them with the shield and helmet. What is a modern day sword? Yeah, the ancient sword, which is a bladed weapon. What is a modern day sword? They're not talking about. But what's a modern day sword? Because the scriptures tell you there's nothing new under the sun. It seems like you don't read the Tanakh to me. Yeah. No, I know. You know yeah. No, I know. There's back. nothing new under the sun, and uh, that's right. Yeah, I know. Okay, so it's, uh, a modern day sword is did a you missile. Go to Hebrew school? I don't need to go to Hebrew school because they teach you lies there. Number one, you think you're a Jew. That's the biggest lie. <laughs> biggest lie every time. That's right. That's right. I tell you what. Gomer and all his bands, right. the house of Tugurma, right. of the North Quarters, the North Quarters, and all his bands and many people with thee, be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company that are. 
assembled unto thee so and all, be thou all, all, all the north quarters all these countries they are going to come right here so can, can I tell you my opinion about okay. this? After I click I try to understand what you're saying. If you, if you read the Bible... Could you not smoke, please? Could you not you, smoke, please? Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Well, we are here, right here. Right are you Native here. American? Huh? You Native American? Yeah. We well, are an Israelite. See? He, he, he's not an Israelite. You're an Israelite. You're the true Jew. He's not a Jew. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't have a problem to not be a Jew. I want to say something. If you read the Bible, you say God chose the nation, right? right. Just, just, right. Just, the, just the Israelites. That's right. And if you read the, it, does, it doesn't choose them because they are better than other nations. Right. He right. chooses them because they have a job in the world. Right. They should be a model. They should be something to fix the world, right? To be a model and try the world to be fixed. You say that because they're not better than everybody? Not because they're better. Because they're not bigger. Deuteronomy 7 and 6 and Deuteronomy 3 It was because they were not big. They were not a large yeah, nation. Yeah, and there was... But now they also, are large. He also, you know said, he also, he also said that you choose the Jewish people because they wasn't good. They was not the last ones. <laughs> That's what they said. But you know what the anyway, prophecy is? Huh? That we will become as the sand of the yeah, sea. Yeah, yeah. So what that I means think, we're going to be everywhere. I think that if you adopted the way... Adopted? If you adopted the way of... One thing to fix the world, one thing to make the world better. That makes you a Jew. If you're taking this on your shoulder, so instead of being anti, are they according to the sea? So look at me, Romans 9 and 8 too. And Jeremiah 16. Romans, huh? Jeremiah 16. Okay, 16 and 14. Romans 9. Romans 9, I want to start off with 1. Do you have Deuteronomy 7? Yeah. Okay. Grab that for me first. To answer your question. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou. Are in holy people. Like you said, the Lord chose us to be a holy people. Go ahead. Unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Mm -hmm. Above all people. Read that part again. What does above, that say? Above all people. <laughs> what, what does that say again? Jeremiah. No, I think we're equal. I think we're equal. That's what that's yeah, what I was saying. Go but ahead. I, I tell but you something. Are in holy it's in people it's unto the Lord thy uh, God. It's in, it's in the no, Hebrew too, no. Are you, you have any, uh, I told in thee. I want to show. I show. Why would we have a Hebrew no, dictionary here for? In Hebrew, in Hebrew. Why would we have our Hebrew Wait Bible here for? We have the Torah. At home. I, we we have, have it. But when you translate it to English, there is the same word that you can translate to English. You need to choose. Like there is one word in Hebrew that could say in English two different words. So in the translation, they choose one option that they say above. But in Hebrew, it can say also equal. That's what they're trying to say to you. <laughs> Sorry, it doesn't say that. In Hebrew, it's even stronger. Go ahead. Do you read it? Because he's, 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 they're, they're um, Amalek. I, 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 right. Go no, ahead. No, I tell you. But are in holy people <laughs> no. unto the Hebrew? Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. I know the version in Hebrew. To be a special people unto himself. To be a special people himself. unto himself. Go ahead. Above all people. Above all people. Go ahead. Above all people. People okay, so can, can that I, are upon the no, face don't of the earth. Okay. That are upon the face of the earth. How do you get equal from above all people that are on the face of the earth? How do you get equal from that? I'm telling How you, would that even translate I'm from Hebrew to English in that way? In, in Hebrew it says, You can translate it to English, I choose you from above all people. You can translate it to English, I choose you from all people. So where did they get, so, so where did they get that it's, uh, scripture it's, from? It's what a, language? the same word in Hebrew, you can translate it to two words. For me, no, no, it's, it's Hebrew, it's the, That's, no, no, Hebrew is the original Latin Bible, somewhere. right? You agree with me. Hebrew is the original Bible. It was Hebrew, when you translate it, it to Greek. English, it was what? Hebrew have less words than English. I know. Uh, excuse me, more words than English. No, more words. So, when you translate it to English, right. you, need, you have two meanings, a word in Hebrew, that can say also above and also from all. But that one they says above to say all above. nations. What? Above. They don't choose because yeah, that's, that's the right way to say it. Above, but you can say also all from all. It's the same translation. No, they're above all people. You know what? Okay, what does the word Israel mean? What? What does the word Israel mean? It's the name of ah, uh, the God helps. Okay, so yeah, when ya God Shar Allah, Jacob helps. which means he's a prince of God or he is a prince of the power. So he's a prince of God. If you're a prince, are you above? Are you below some people? You above a you're not, are you you're below? not below. You're not are you above. below the servant? You have a you have a certain job. You have a certain some some that two job. Piece. That job is to be under the Ezra's, king and to, and, and to and be above all other people. If you have a kingdom and you have a king and you have a prince. Are the servants above the prince? Bro, he's okay. being a serpent. You know the Kohen? Yeah, he's you know being a serpent, bro. Give me, give me second Ezra, please. Second Ezra, chapter 6, verse 54. 
And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. Oh, let the Bentley that, come that's, through. That's, <laughs> let the Bentley come through. <laughs> that's uh, that's everybody saying is that we all come from Adam. Aren't we equal? Why can't we all get along? We all come from the same father. Go and ahead. after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. <laughs> mm -hmm. Of him come we all. We all come from Adam. Go ahead. And the people whom thou hast chosen. So God chose the people out of Adam. Go ahead. All this have I spoken yeah, before man, thee, O Lord. Because you thou hast later. made the world for yeah, our yeah, sakes. Read that part again, because I don't think Mr. Yehudi over here understood that. That's right. That's right, buddy. We hate Edomites, not white people. We don't hate white people. Esau, we hate Edomites. Esau, Esau, Yaakov. Esau, Ben Esau. All right. Go ahead. That's right. Edom. Edom. Go ahead. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou hast made the world for our sakes. So he made the world for our sakes, the Israelites' sakes, all 12 tribes. That means the world is created. The only reason the world is here is because we were his chosen people. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's ours. Sorry, it's ours. It's it's ours. It's ours. It's ours. I don't know who you I, I, I tell you, if you really, I don't know if you really, really read the Bible or only read the few sentences. You read the Bible. But if you, <laughs> but if you <laughs> try to understand, but we only read the I don't know. Sentences. If you try to understand the main target of the Bible, mm -hmm. the God created the world. He wants the world to be good. Like if what you take, scripture? What if, scripture? If, that? If, what you, scripture? if you take, for example, Sodom. You know Sodom? Lot. Abraham Lot. and Lot, yeah, yeah, yeah. so he wanted to destroy uh, Sodom and Gomorrah Sodom and, and the other yeah. three cities. Why? So, why? Why? Why did he want to destroy it? Why? What were they doing in the city? Yeah, they they what were they doing? They won't run them off, bro. What were they doing? Wait a second. But why he put, why he posed this? Why he didn't do it straight? Why he, you know, he waited? Because he wants people to fix themselves. If there is no way, there is no way. But the main idea is people to fix themselves. There was one righteous man. So if there is someone, is some, something is good, maybe he can influence, maybe he can make something. If no one is good, so there First is no... Well, we can't influence. The most high has to open up their eyes. What? And for there is no point. If, if, there is good, if there is good people, they can influence other people, right? The Lord. So exactly like the Kohanim. You know the Kohanim? They are not above the other Israel. They have a certain job. Well, that's the point they need I to read be a model. The they can the sun, No, we read that. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. The Bible. Israel is above all other people on the people, face of the earth. People which the above Jewish people all. Above all, that's what my scripture is telling me. So they need to rule the world. That's correct. Yeah, exactly. You put our people it's under it's under whom the world calls Jesus Christ. Under what? Under whom the world calls Jesus Christ. Under Jesus Christ. Yeah. So Jesus. So you also. As Jesus is the best. Of course, he's the top. He's the father of God. He's the son of God. Yes. No problem. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Except for my family, the Jews. Jewish. 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 Okay. First of all, you say that you say that that, that, that like that that's a good thing. You know that's a derogatory term. Jews. It was given to us in the Babylonian captivity because they didn't want to say Yahweh. Okay. Not Yehudi. Yahweh. Okay. So they just said you Jews. What's the name of God? What? What is the name of God? Hashem. No. What is it? Ah, you uh, Yehovah? No. You guys, I know you guys say Hashem. That's what you say. Um, yeah, because you don't want to say the holy name. Say yeah, the name. The name is not his name. Um, but you're supposed to utter his name. Don't you know that? You say it when you pray. When That's you right. Pray. So you what is his name? What? What's his name? It's uh, you can't say it. It's in the Bible. It's, you, you know the word. It, it says the Tetra What? The, you you can say Jehovah, but no one That's says. That's not Jehovah. There's no J in the Hebrew. It's in the Bible. But there's no J in the Hebrew. That's the translation. Yehovah. When did the, no, no, no. The, the word, the, the letter J, right? When did it come in the English language? What? The letter J, when did it come into the English language? What are you trying to when? read? When? The 1600s. Why? Because it's a very new letter. So his name cannot be Jehovah because there was no J in any ancient Yeah, alphabet. but in the Bible you say it's you Yeah, because that's a, that's a translation. Translation. that's a late translation. That's a late translation. Translation. No, in the old Bible, in Hebrew, you can say it, it's Jehovah. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's so they, they, you say the Bible in Hebrew, it's not the original Bible? It's a translation of other yeah, language? Number one, Yiddish is not, is not ancient Hebrew. No Yiddish, I said Hebrew. Which Hebrew? The Assyrian Hebrew? So the, the Bible in Hebrew, it's not the original Bible, that's what you say? The Aramaic, right? The here. Assyrian Hebrew. What's the original Bible? That's not ancient Hebrew. Which language? Hebrew. Ah, but not the Hebrew that we see now. It's no, Hebrew. the Hebrew you have is the... the is, is the, yeah, the Paleo Hebrew. The Lashwan Kadash, the old Hebrew. But the ones that you guys use is the Assyrian. 
It's not. It's, it's pretty nice. Yeah. But, not they, the but, they, that's yeah. but in an archaeological uh, search in Israel, they found a Bible 2,000 years old. They found the same letters, the same version, the same Hebrew. 2,000 years same. old? That's that would be in the time of Christ. That's right. um, the, 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 the Lord tribes, the, the, sorry, the northern tribes, they came over here 724 BC. That's 2000, eight, almost 800 years ago. Almost 2,800 years ago. What does that mean? And they and they were they're using the Assyrian. But the Bible ends, uh, I think, 2,500 years ago. It ends. Last, what do you mean ends? It ends. It ends. Telling the story. Telling the last. Expect the new testament. The, the, they don't believe in uh, Christ dying on the cross, right? No, no, no they don't. Ah, are you talking about the New Testament? No, of course we believe. We believe the whole thing. All right. The whole book. You think that it ends in Malachi? It doesn't end in Malachi, man. Because there's no way to be saved after that. There's no, you can't be justified by the law because you can't tell me you can't keep the law perfect. Won't you know if you wear two different kinds of fabric clothing? Which you are. Enough? If you wear cotton and, and, uh, and, uh, and, and leather and linen, you're going up. You're breaking the law. If you have, if you have, uh, um, if you have honey at home and it's half full, you're breaking the law because it's supposed to be full. No beard, you're breaking the law. You're breaking the law. If you eat kosher, her hair is not uncovered. Her hair is not hair is uncovered. Huh? Anyway, yeah, she's wearing pants. She's wearing pants and breaking the law. If you eat kosher, you're, you're looking at you're us. You're not being saved by the law. Yeah, look, we, we must. Yeah, look looking at us in our eyes. You're not even supposed to look at us in our eyes. You're supposed to keep quiet. You're supposed to bow your head down. Oh, you know? I thought you knew the law. I thought you knew the law. I thought you, knew the law. I thought you were a Jew. <laughs> <laughs> read this. Hey, read it. Read this. Go ahead. Hey, uh, hey, uh, this hey, is. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. This is good. This is for Metapedia. Good for learning. Last thing. I could give you the scripture. A Jew. I can't. A Jew. Member of the Jewish people who are an ethnic group whose origins are primarily of Turco Mongoloid from the Khazars with Semitic admixtures from the Edomites. Edomites. The you know Esau and Jacob, the story? Esau, yeah. right? You're Esau. We're Jacob. That's right. You're the Actually, Eagle twin I don't brother. know about this guy. She for sure. This guy, I don't know. You look like Arab or Ishmaelite or something like that. <laughs> you're a different kind of convert, my friend. But you, you're definitely Amalek. You're yeah, definitely Amalek. Amalek. Esau. The, Esau. Jew, the Jewish people or the Jewish nation also consists of others who converted to Judaism throughout the millennia. Then it says, uh, many people have assumed over the years that modern Jews are descended from ancient Israelites. However, Amen. this is not the case. Why okay, King George? <laughs> In his Rolls Royce. Many, because that's what we, we do. We mock people. George. Many. Look, I must. I, we must go. No, no, no. no, no. Stick okay, around. Okay. I want to show you something. <laughs> I want to show you something. I respect. Oh, I show you have something. a nice day. Oh, have a nice I day. Modern astronauts. No, that's not what our elder is. Okay. These are you, brick makers. Go on that first. They do not look like you. That's yeah. The point. Where Modern, are you guys? Where are you guys? Here? Uh, that's what I want to know. Okay. All right. This is the Assyrian captivity. Up. Right here. Assyrian captivity. This is Joseph right here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Maybe it was then. Was it <laughs> Maybe it was then. Can you get ten. that dark? Ten. Ten. Yeah, he was ten. Can you, you get that dark? I, in Israel, I'm very He's dark. even darker than me in Israel. I, you're very dark. Thank you. In Israel, I'm very dark. These people, these are the Shem Shemitics going into Egypt. All 72 of them. Okay? You see any people as, uh, as you say, tan or light like you? They were born with that. Or even... Pale. What does the word pale mean? Pale? Yeah, pale. What's pale? English? <laughs> he looked right. It's right there. Okay, exactly. You were right when you looked at her in the first. <laughs> so he's saying that we shall no longer be ashamed. Because people are going around taking our heritage, saying that they're us. Me and Jacob shall no longer be ashamed that there's people, Ashkenazis, Khazarians, that are calling themselves Jews, and they're not the real Jews. So and they themselves know that they're not the biblical Jews. But they like to... Uh, how do you say, um, okay, so, lie on your so instead of making a protest, you are not the Jew, I'm the right, instead of doing this, well, that's what we're doing. We're build, a you build, a, build a community and make it perfect. Why, why are you trying to be anti? You're making too much power. Until, like, until the kingdom of heaven, there yeah. will be nothing perfect. Until Israel's is blown off the face of the I want this one first. I have a quick precept. Okay, go ahead. Until, on, until, until America's blown off the face of the map, there will be nothing perfect. Because the no. white man's white. Wait, America? Or and he's the devil. But you can choose. Jeremiah good. 17 and 4. And thou, and thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. I'll tell this brother, listen, you're in Israel. He'd be like, no, I'm not an Israelite. What do you mean I'm an Israelite? He grew up as he's black. 
or he's a he's a Negro or, or a Negrito or African American. <laughs> now they're calling us proud. Negro, yeah, yeah. See that? <laughs> yeah. Hey, fool. That's prophecy. No. Man. Get the Hamite sign. That's prophecy, <laughs> man. Exactly. Or or he's Egyptian or he's something like that. Some kind of nonsense. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve. Listen, man. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which ye know not. For ye have. This is not our. This is not the land that we, we know of. We are from Israel. Went on the west coast of Africa after, after uh, destruction of uh, Jerusalem by uh, Titus and Vespasian. Okay, we went to the west coast of Africa. We stayed there all, basically up until 1600s. A lot of us came from okay. Europe. That's a whole nother issue. But basically, we came over here on slave ships. That's how we got here. And we're serving who? Another nation. Okay? Is that it on that? I have a next precept. No, Deuteronomy no. yeah. 28 and 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. What does the word Egypt mean? In English? No, the word Egypt. Egypt. What does it mean? Not in English, it has a meaning. Etymology. It has an etymology. The root. It's a Greek word which means bondage. Bondage. Slavery. Slavery. Okay, and ahead. the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, by the way, if, if the Lord, whereof... If the Lord should make it, what your protestant, what your protestant helps you? I mean, hold on, man. Convince people, is speaking. the Lord should do the work. No, the we're, we're doing Let's this because do. we're commanded to do this. It's as simple as that. Bro, what do you mean command? Bro, can I say something? What? If they were the real Jews, mm -hmm. shouldn't they be making everything perfect? Yeah, so should. why is everything not perfect? Can they give me Micah 4 and 3, 2, you're please? You're not supposed why to protest like this if you're a Jew. No, no, Lord. no, hold on, bro. You guys are in the land of Israel claiming that you're the real Jews. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't you make everything perfect? Uh, first, I, did, everything first I, didn't declare, I didn't declare when there is you. You, you I'm not said you're an Israeli. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to her. And her. Oh, you Israel. live in the land of Israel. Yeah, well, that's good because that's what Israeli yeah. means. I have a scripture. But that doesn't... Because... Okay, who predominantly lives in Canada right now? What, na Canada, what Canada, nation Canada, of people? What nation of people predominantly live in, in, in Canada? What na okay, what color are they? Caucasian. Caucasian. That's Thank right. you, brother. These guys are demons. Simple. They like to just mm, round and round and round. round serpents. That's why they call you serpents. So, you're, okay, so, you're so my all point Caucasian? is, is wow. Shh. Who dwelt before? I was talking to him. Native Americans. Actually, I don't so exactly. So now you guys are in our land in Israel, right? Just like how you guys are in this land right now saying that you guys are Canadians. Meanwhile, the Canadians are the Native Americans. Just like how you're over there in Israel right now calling yourself Israelis, when you're looking at the real Israelis. But we're Israelites. Israelites. Okay? Israelis so the if, if there is it one that dwells in the land of Israel? If the people that live in Israel will now live? And they will not, no, no, they're not going to leave. Hypothetically. <laughs> yeah, right. Hypothetically. They, you, conv you convince them? You yeah. convince them? They live? They say, come on, you will come now? No. Why not? Are because you, because you according to, to the prophecy, it's going to be destroyed. So you wait to God to bring you. That's right. If you wait to God to bring you, this protest, how can it help? God, anyway, no sense. Not about you try to remind God? By fools. Right. So I got it. I got it. Go ahead, brother. Just, uh, we're fools in the world. We're yeah. nobody. Nobody. We're out here for a spectacle. <laughs> so I am listening in. I got it. Yeah, the track. <laughs> Jeremiah, Jeremiah, Jeremiah 28, verse 8. The prophets that have right. been before me and before thee of old <laughs> prophesied both against many countries. <laughs> Basically, what we're telling you is this country. Esau, you, uh, Malachites, your kingdom is going down. Your time for rulership that you were given about 500 years ago is up. That's right. right up. So that, that's that's right. what we're telling you. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That's, no, 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 no. no. That's, that's not gonna happen. I pray that everyone will be friends with that sleepy son? Yeah, I'm sleepy right there. Yeah, right there. Yeah, she's gonna be a concubine in the kingdom. Yeah, gonna be a concubine okay, so in the kingdom. Get, when this was going on, were we friends then? Were we friends then? Okay. When this was going on, were we friends then? I would just like to point out a picture on the other side of this. Yeah. These guys. Did the same thing to my people. They did. Look, do you want to know something? Hold on, hold on. Why was the KKK created in the beginning? To put black people in slavery, not to put Jews in slavery. The KKK burned down my uncle's dentist office. Hey, you know what? Because your KKK people, they're stupid. Them Jewish people put my people in the slavery. Exactly. But these are the fucking slaves. Right. Okay, now, for for instance, do you know what you knew about the slave trade, right? 
Basically, the Africans rounded us up on the west coast of Africa, the true Africans, okay? The so-called Arabs built the ships, okay? And the so-called Malachites, the so-called your forefathers, financed the whole thing. Get Joel 3. Do you have that book? No. Get Joel 3. Hey, Are you going to go? I Hold on, hold on. I, have one, I have one before 3. I have one more verse for you. One more. Okay, this is, this is a prophecy about when the actual real Jews are going to go back to the land of Israel. Go ahead. And he shall judge among many people and rebuke strong nations afar off. Mm -hmm. And they shall beat their swords and a plowshares. Meaning that a sword is a weapon of war. A plowshare is a farming instrument. So, meaning that the sword will no longer be around, you'll just be farming. Go ahead. And the spears into pruning hooks. Spear is another weapon of war. Pruning hook is a weapon, is another weapon, is a farming instrument. Go ahead. Nations shall not lift up a sword against nation. So no other nation in the world will be fighting against another nation. Go ahead. Neither shall they learn war anymore. So no other nations will learn war anymore. Does that sound like anything that's going on right now? With the war people? everywhere, Because remember, you guys stated in 1948 you created the state of Israel. So right now, basically, there should be no more war. Yep. Right? There should, uh, no nation should fight against another nation. That's right. That's right. No more swords. That's Go right. Go ahead. Keep reading. Revelations 2 verses 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. So but the, the Lord is talking about the true Jews right now. He knows our trouble. He knows our poverty. That's right. Okay, because tri tribulation means trouble. Go ahead. But thou art rich. He's saying that we are rich. Why are we rich? Remember, like, you guys own all the ghettos. You know you guys are the slumlords. Go ahead. And I know the... That's right. Everything's Most of, new to her. I know, everything's new to you. Slow. You guys... This princess. I know. This Jap. And, and I you know... You a Jap, a Jewish American princess? How about this? Guys, you, you know what it means. Uh, and, and I know the blasphemy... The bl of filthy, disgusting lie. Go ahead. I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and, and not. are not. not. Which say they are Jews and, and not. are not. But are the synagogue of, of Satan. Satan. Chief house of Scripture? Satan. And Satan means the adversary. Receiver. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Jeremiah chapter 16 verse 14. Therefore behold the days come said the Lord. That it shall no more be said. The Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from out the land of Egypt. The, the, hold on, the children of Egypt, the children that went the into story. Egypt. These are the children that went into Egypt. They're of this complexion to begin with. Go ahead. Revelation! Hold on, hold on, hold on. He's keep going, brother. No, he's not. Uh, I'll read that from the beginning. Therefore, behold, the days come, said the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. Right where we're standing right now. You remember when Jacob built yeah. the ship? Remember when Jacob built all the ship? Ships to Yeah, yeah. You don't, you don't want, yeah, yeah. You don't want to fight with him. You didn't want to fight with his brother. You agree with this attitude? At that time? Yeah, I did. You think it's a good way? At that time, yeah. You but said, you want to know something? Wait, Somebody wait, give me Psalms 137, you said, please. You, you said when they're going to bring the people to Israel. So you said here in 48. I got it. Country established and still walls, right? So probably they know the true Jews. That's, that's your example. You know they're not true Jews. Okay, that's what you said. Yeah. So the only way to stop the walls and stop the violence is <laughs> not waiting for God to do it. It's people. Somebody get me Joel, please. It's, it's people that should choose good. People should fight their bad. Esau can't choose good, it's not in his nature. It's not in his nature to yeah. be good. Jacob could do, choose two options. He could fight with his brother, because he's right. And his brother is wrong. But he could try to deny it. He could try end time. He could do the right thing. What's the right thing? He could do the right thing. What's the right thing? It's rather to be... No, what's to give the right him, thing? Rather to give him the ships, mm. the, 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 even if he's not going to make it, and deny him from violence, deny him from war. That's, that's not the right thing. The right thing is listening to the Lord. I have a scripture. Two, all three in one. Uh, for behold, in those days and in that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and so Jerusalem. Who is going to bring back again the captivity of uh, Judah and Jerusalem? The 12 tribes. Read it again, please. He's not paying attention. Go ahead. For behold, in those days and in that time when I. When I. Okay, but what God did to the Jews all the time when they didn't, when they didn't do what He wanted? He jacked them up. He jacked them up. So what they need to do? 
We We're need to come back to the Heavenly Father. What, what they need to choose? Which way they need to choose? The Heavenly Father. That's right. The so, Lord and the Son. Instead. Oh. No, no, we don't want it instead of any other philosophy. Try to choose the right thing. Try to yeah, the right thing is God. Choosing God, God and goes back to our side. What does it mean? Jacks up the other but nations. What does, does it mean between the people to choose God? You guys are gonna does get it, jacked up. Does it mean if someone walks here, you're trying to humiliate him? Does it mean to choose God? No, no I'm not trying to humiliate no. you. You guys should no. know that you're not the real Jews. Go ahead. Right? No, this is actually so, edifying. This is actually so edifying. It's so actually I, I want, you know something? I'm not the true Jews. I want God to bring the true Jews to Israel. So I want the Jews to, to, to choose the right thing. You're gonna work I, I, want, I, want, I want the Jews to choose the right thing. That's right. To choose the right thing is to be friends with each other. To choose the right thing is, this is what God wants. friend with each other. If you don't do it, no. Is that the Mishnah? You guys, if you don't do that, <laughs> hold on, hold on. If you don't do that, you suspect the Jews to come to Israel. Okay. You suspect that is Queen Elizabeth with our friends? I want, I want is she standing right beside us right now? Is Queen Elizabeth with our friends? What? Royalty does not hang out with serfs. Exactly. So in our kingdom, exactly. we're not going to hang out with serfs. But you're talking what serfs. happens a few hundred centuries ago. It's not these people, it's your fathers. That which is past. You want to revenge in the sons of what, what the, the fathers most do? The most high requires oh, 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 that which is past. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm a scripture, Donald. I got a five. And 38. And now I say unto and I want you, Romans 9, please. Pray from it. these men and let them alone. Mm -hmm. For if this counsel oh, or this God. word God. be of men, mm -hmm. it will come to naught. Mm -hmm. But if it be of God, you cannot overthrow it. And trust yeah. happily, yeah. you be found even to what? fight it's against God. God. Good luck. No, listen, no, hold on. Come back. Come back. Yes, I like your button. Like hold on. Hold on. Like like Three on. and fourteen. I know that whatsoever the Most High do it, it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it. And the Most High doeth it that men should fear before Him. That which hath been is now. And that which is to be has already been. And God required that which is past. Hold on. Anything that was done to us in the past, it's required. Can somebody Romans, eh? get me Romans, this please? Romans! Listen, last scripture, past. please. Last scripture, okay? Romans! It's because I think in your mind, you, you, you still think that you can that be just because you, you want to do good or that you converted, oh, yeah. so you think you still can be a Jew. Go ahead. Romans 9, verses 13. No, I want one. Go all the way from oh, the one. one. Sorry, Start all the way from the top. Let's go right through it. All right, here we go. One. I want to leave one. Romans go. 9, verses 1. I say the truth in Christ, mm -hmm. I lie not. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Ghost, that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ. For my brethren, mm -hmm. my kinsmen, mm -hmm. according to the flesh. So my brother, my family members, according to the flesh, go who ahead. Who are Israelites. Who are Israelites, go ahead. Who are Israelites, mm -hmm. to who pertaineth the adoption, mm -hmm. and the glory, mm -hmm. and the covenant, mm -hmm. and the giving of the law, mm -hmm. and the service of God, and the promises. Keep going. Uh. Whose are the fathers, and of whom are concerning the flesh, Christ came, mm -hmm. who is over all. God blessed forever. Amen. Not as though the word of God had taken none effect, for they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. Going into the elect, go ahead. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children. But in Isaac. Abraham had a lot of sons, right? We were going into that. Abraham had uh, Ishmael, Ishmael and six Nathan. sons of Keturah. Right. Okay, go ahead. But not only Abraham, go ahead. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called. So he went, he, 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 what's that one? Excluded a whole lot of people right there. Okay, go ahead. But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Go ahead. That is, they which are the children of the flesh, mm -hmm. these are not the children of God, mm -hmm. but the children of promise mm -hmm. are the counted for the seed. Mm -hmm. For this is the word of promise at this time, will I come and Sarah shall have a son. And Christ. not only this, but when Rebekah also have conceived by one, even by our father Isaac, mm -hmm. for the children being not born neither. Uh, this is our conflict here, Esau and Jacob. Go ahead. But born neither, having done any good or evil. So not because we did any good or evil. Go ahead. Or that, that you guys did any good or evil. Go ahead. That the purpose of God, according to the election, might stand. So God appointed us. Go ahead. Not of the works, but of Him that calleth. It Who was it. Who called? 
weren't paying attention. <laughs> and also, not of works, it doesn't matter what you do. What you it's do, like, you're a good white man. Oh, you want to hear it? Shake my hand. That makes no difference. Makes no difference. Go ahead. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. And Esau came out first. Go As ahead. it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. I'm reading that from um, Romans, Romans 9 and 9 13. And and that's Romans. Okay, give me nine and one straight down. So you get Malachi. Get Malachi if he doesn't want the New Testament. Ah. That's anyway. Do I have some? When, it, when the Israelis crossed the, the river to go to Israel after Egypt, mm -hmm. and then the river crossed to the Egyptian, and Israel was happy. What God tell them? Don't be happy when your enemy is dead, because is they're also my sons. You, you remember this? Worse. 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 That's the Talmud, man. You read the Talmud. Ah. Be honest. Yeah, I didn't know it was from the Talmud. <laughs> Never mind. I mean, yeah. Alright. I, mean, I don't understand you. He was confounded. He was confounded. Wow. And still, the undefeated heavyweight champion of the world, the Bible. Bible. I'm telling you, Louis. I'm coming to the left. Bama. Bama. Shoot him. Shoot him. So, hey, stop. So, these cousins are slipping. I got Hebrews, man. This is Hebrews chapter 8, verse 7. I'm undefeated. Um, for if what that first point? covenant It's right under there, City TV. For if that first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Beautiful. Not according to the covenant so, that so I... So, like brother, where uh, it said the house of Judah, which is the three head tribes, and then the house of Israel, where's their house of Israel? Where's the nine and a half tribes? Where are they? They only have Judah. They only have Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Where's the where's Ephraim? Where's Manasseh? You know? It said, for finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the day is come, said the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the days when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, said the Lord. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, said the Lord. And I will put my laws in their mind and write them in their hearts. And I will be to them a God and they shall be to me a people. Meaning that we're never going to ever go off again because the laws are going to be on our insides. Right? And remember the law was created. If you went off on the law, you were dead. So if the law is on your insides and you cannot go off, you're going to have everlasting life. And that's why I brought it out, because he was saying, why don't you guys make the world perfect? Mm -hmm. You can't. Can I get Psalms 2, quickly? Just for like an after rebuttal, because... <laughs> Psalms chapter 2, verse 1. Why do the heathen rage? So why do these other nations rage against, against what's going on, right? Go ahead. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? They want us to hold hands together with them, forgive them for what they've done, right? They think that the Most High is some effeminate person. Like, I get scared just even saying that, man. Go ahead. And 